Hello everyone, Bentley Kay here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flesh and wrinkles makeup video. However, I don't have a new foundation to try this week, so we're gonna do a get ready with me. I have a couple of new products, but none of them I think will be affected by hot flashes or wrinkles. Um, we're gonna test out, I got the new that, that Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer that I'm hoping I'll remember to use. Um, I picked up this mini dandelion highlight from Ulta. Um, and they don't have the cookie in a mini. And so I got this one. I'll show you the difference. I wanted to get a mini so that when I travel, because I got a mini Dallas blush, so I wanted a mini cookie, but they don't carry it. So I got this dandelion one, and as you can see, it doesn't have as much sparkle. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you. Definitely doesn't have the oomph that because I just put quite a bit on and then I can take just a tiny bit of the cookie and you can see the difference, I guess. See the one, this one over, over here is the new dandelion and then the one in the middle right there, that is the cookie and the cookie is way sparklier. But since I don't think they make the cookie in a, in a small one, we're gonna test out this dandelion guy today just to see whether or not it can it is even close. I mean, I know it's not close, but hopefully it's good. That's all that I really want it to be. Next thing, I got a new liner, a rollerball liner. I really like this. This is, it says it is a true matte black. And so I got a new one because my other one ran out. So we have a good liner now. And I got another one of these. This is the one that I put on the other day, the Stay Matte from Super Stay 24 Hour. And I have this one and I loved it. This one I tried the other day when I first got it. I didn't have any makeup on or anything though because it was like, I thought it was a peachier color. Let me take it out and show it to you. And I put it on and it was like super, like the same color as my lips. I didn't really like it, but we're gonna try this again today because it looks dark right here, darker. So we're gonna try this again because I just got it, it's new. And I did read it this time before I threw the box away and it does say to let it dry before you put that other stuff on top. So we're gonna do that today. <laughs> Although I did like it the way I had it. And then I couldn't get the Benefit um, brow thing with the three little brushy things. They didn't have, they only had blonde. And I know my hair is blonde and of course it's natural, um, but my eyebrows are not blonde. So I can't get blonde because it just wouldn't even show up. So I have to get like the next one, which I think is top, but I'm not sure because they didn't have any, they only had blonde. So I got the Milani one that um, Kathleen Lights had tried and said that she liked it. And I got this one in soft brown. So we're gonna try that. I also got a new thing of Demi Wispies that I just needed. So anyways, let's get started. Okay, so I already prepped my face. I did the whole TikTok thing, which means I put on my CeraVe moisturizer and then I powdered it with my It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Pores Powder. And then I sprayed it with my Morphe spray, which I'm keeping out because I'm gonna use it again, hopefully. And then I dried it with my fan, put on my primer. This is my Tarte Base Tape. And now we are ready to put on our foundation. And we're gonna use the Born This Way foundation that I have grown to love. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. I don't know why I did two pumps because I'm sure I won't need that much. Then I'm just gonna dot it around. 
and I'm going to just do one side because sometimes it dries pretty fast. So we're just going to go ahead and do this side, thread this around. And we're going to dot some on the other side. So maybe I do need that much. I felt like last time I could have built it up a little bit more. Once I got down into natural lighting, I felt like maybe I should have added a little bit more to get a little more coverage. But I still loved it. And I still loved it at the end of the day. So I'm still loving it. All right, so I didn't use it all. But I'm gonna go in with my sponge and then see if I need to build it up at all. We're gonna go in with my Pat McGrath concealer. I don't really think they've come out with a lot of new concealers for a while. Actually, though, they haven't come out with a lot of new anything for a while. I know, I just have to blend all this out. Just blend, blend, blend. And then I always have to go out here. Sometimes you can't see if there's a line out there. So you always just want to go out there with your sponge and blend, just in case. Now we're going to go in with our Bye Bye Pores powder. Brighten everything up and get rid of all my pores. This is my magic eraser for my face. I love it. Now I just take my brush, kind of spread that all over the rest of my face. Make sure that all the pores are erased like that. And then of course, we have to go back in and add some dimensions back in. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna use the Soleil. Actually, I think I am going to use my Milani for contour. And then I'm going to use the, the the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil as the bronzer part. Even though, of course, my Milani, this is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in Sunlight. And I'm using this to contour with, even though I have heard some makeup artists say not to use bronzer for contour. However, I'm doing it anyway because I like this color and I think it does a good job. And people have already said I don't know what I'm doing, so you know, I'm not claiming to. I'm telling you what a makeup artist says and then I'm doing what I think looks best on me. So, and then I was going to try something different because I feel like this is kind of maybe too wide for my nose. Seems like whenever I use it, I don't get the perfect line I'm looking for. So this is a blender brush. So we're going to try it. That may mess everything up, but we're going to try. Because my nose is not straight. I think it's pretty straight. I won't know till I edit the video and then I may be like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? You know, you know how it goes. But we're going to go with it. 
right now this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and this is the color and I used it once and I really liked it so I don't know why I had never tried it before because it's like a cult classic but obviously it was before I became a cultist which I don't know if there was ever a time but there was a time when I would never have considered paying as much for makeup as I do now I mean I was like no what Clinique Clinique was like ridiculous to me for me all right let's go in with our Dallas and then we'll try our new highlight and see if it even comes close to what I want And if not, we'll take it back because I'm spoiled. I have the cookie and I know how good it is. Whoa. So, blend this out a little bit first. All right. Now, let's go in with the highlight. Clean highlight brush over here. Oh, I could see it. Got probably way too much on there because I felt like you weren't going to be able to see it. Yes, I did get way too much. All right, so let's just go back in and kind of get it where we want it. I think it's kind of pretty. Now, I don't think it's as pretty as the cookie. I don't know though. It's pretty. It's pretty. I did get a lot on my cheeks, but it blended out. I like it. What can I say? Especially for travel, it's fine. So, it gets a thumbs up. The Dandelion. There were two I don't know what the other one, the other one was in a green one. This one's in a, like a, kind of a rose salmon. But now I have my Dallas and I have a travel. Now I just need to travel. And this is the Milani, um, what's it called? Weekend Brow. And this is a brow, uh, a stylo, my blading pin All right. so this is what this is the soft brown and that's what it looks like it looks like a little brush I think it's a brush All right. here we go oh I need a spoolie I have a dirty one here yeah this one's fine I just need to clean the brush end of it so let's just see if we can draw some oh, this looks like it might be going to be take a while you know I used that um, grande brow and it worked so incredibly well but guess what I ran out and they're going right back the way they were I didn't think I knew that they did that with my lashes when I was using the grande lash but you, you go through lashes like you know a lot like you shed them and I thought brows didn't fall out as much unless you pluck them out but they seem to fall out because they're you know, remember how I said they got darker and they got thicker and they were so awesome well they seem to be getting lighter and thinner um this it may be good but it's gonna take a while so I don't know if I like 
this. I'd rather have that one that has three brushes, three, you know, at a time. Which I already knew I wanted to try that one. But even that one might be more trouble than I'm willing. So I may have to go get me another Cabral. But since I've never had microblading, I can't really tell you if it looks like microblading. I don't know about this. Where's me brush? Oh, that's better. Pointy right there. It's okay. I think. Yeah, I don't think I like this. I think I like my Cabral better than this. I don't really like it, I don't think. Too bad I destroyed the packaging. Anyways, moving on. We're going to put on some eyeshadow. Okay, let's go in with our eyeshadow. And we're going to do a one and done with this. This is the Socialite from Maybelline. And it's the color tattoo. The color is Socialite. I just love these one and done ones that I do. They're pretty, they're quick, which is the most important part. And I forgot and put it on both sides of this brush, so now I'm just gonna wipe it off as best I can to pull it up. Like that. That's it for the eyeshadow. I'm going to now push line with my tattoo liner from Maybelline. No, this is not sponsored by Maybelline. It just worked out that way. And to push line, you put your little finger in the middle of your eye and you push on your eyelid till your lash curls up and then you draw between the lashes. Just so you can cover up that skin between the lashes and maybe get a little above because I'm going to pull it up and smudge it. See, it's a flat brush. This is a Morphe 432. And then you just go from the top and smudge it back and forth. I usually start with the part that's in between the lashes just to make sure it covers all the skin between the lashes. And then I kind of pull it up a little bit as I go to make a liner and to get it on my brush nice and so I can make a bit of a wing out here and then smudge it all the way across. like that and you've got a smudgy and a wing but we are going to go in and spray this before I do my eyelashes and stuff set this all nicely get a little bit glow back into it and then I'm just going to push this in so now I'm going to go off camera well actually I'm going to curl my lashes put on some of my tight line mascara just to make them black. Then I'm gonna go off camera and put on some falsies. So, we'll do this first. I flipped that over while I was doing that. I don't need a super curl on it. I just want them to curl up into the falsies. And then I love this because when I'm wearing lashes, I don't want big clumps and stuff on them. And this is the bomb diggity if you just want to blacken your lashes and they still look real smooth. And, but they are black. This is my absolute favorite mascara for blackening because it doesn't clump at all. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does not clump at all. So, I love it. I'm going to go off camera and pop on some lashes, and I'll be back. 
Okay guys, I am back, lashes on. Let's do our lips, that's all we have left. And we're gonna use this uh, 24 hour super steak color in the color. I think I read this to you. I really cannot read this. Maybe I'll line my lips. I haven't done that in a long time, huh? This looks like a good color. I almost never line my lips. Because I'm not used to lining my lips. So I always think it looks funny. But when I do, I always color it in. Maybe that's why it looks funny, huh? Okay, now we're gonna go in with our stay mat. Actually, that looks kind of pretty just like it is, huh? We're still gonna do it. Because one thing I did find about this, you put it on, it's on. It's on to stay. Now it says to let this dry completely. Before I add the this part, but it only takes a minute. So we shall let it dry. You know, I had tons of um, feedback on my background, the last week's background, where it was moving and I had tons of people that loved it. I loved it. But then I had a few that said it was too distracting. So I thought this week we would try this one, which is just as fun, but it doesn't move around. <laughs> and so maybe it won't bother anyone, but also I just want you to know I have like I think maybe three more moving ones and none of them move very much, but I will use them because I think they're super cool. So if they're distracting, I'm sorry. Um, there's, like I said, there's only gonna be like three of them because that's all that I could find that are moving. And they're all animated and they're all, they don't move much. It's like one has little bats coming down. I think another one has little spiders and basically it just, it's just revolving because none of them are more than like less than a minute long and then it just goes over and over again so anyways I hope you guys like them I like them and but I have a bunch of them that are just you know they don't move they're just cool um Halloween pictures like this one and then I have other ones that I've got for after Halloween for Thanksgiving and for Christmas and then just for everyday ones so this is just a new thing for me, but none of the rest of them move. At least I haven't found any Christmas ones or Thanksgiving ones yet that move, but I haven't looked for them either. I usually always put Halloween in because that's where we're at. Anyways, um, I think this is dry. That's why I was talking, <laughs> just to, you know, tell you something while we're waiting. So I like it, but I don't think it's as pretty as it was without the liner underneath it. I guess maybe I should have just lined the liner instead of um, putting it all underneath because it, it's still pretty. 
it's just not as smooth as I would expect it to be. As I thought it was in, with the pink one. But I really like the color. What do you guys think? Anyways, um, we're not going to have a wear test on this because I didn't have anything that's really going to be affected by a hot flash or wrinkles because all I really did was these. And what else is new? Oh, the Soleil. Yeah, I know it's going to be fine. And the lips, they're not going to be affected by hot flashes. And I already tried this kind, just not this color, and it's really good, especially for the price. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah!